Hi, Jason the Golf Principals here and about a month ago I did the Trackman University course and there was a great tool that Frederick had from 3D Playmore, a guy called Tony made these in America and it's the best way to describe D plane and what happens to the ball spin and tilt I've ever seen. So what we did a ball one basically. So I'm going to show this to you to explain it very easily how it works. So the white line here, you'll see it's got three lines. So you've got, we've got the red, which is the club orientation, the blue, which is the direction of the club in terms of attack angle and swing direction, and then the white line is the actual target line. So what you can see here, if you imagine this, and this is obviously the ball and the spin axis tilt. So if you're going to hit a straight shot as such, or, or a fade or a draw, you've got to get your D plane and your tilt sorted out. So, and what's also clever with this, it can work up and it can work down. So if you imagine why it's harder to shape a wedge, if you have a lot of loft and you have a big spin axis, well, relatively big, it's still not a huge deviation. If you watch the, how the axis tilts, when the loft comes down, look at the axis tilt. It goes from there to there. That's why you hit those wicked slices, wicked hooks with a low lofted club, because the tilt is very severe. Remember, there's no such thing as side spin. A sphere can only spin on one axis. So stop using the phrase side spin, right? It's rubbish, it's not correct. So, effectively, the straight shot is zero, zero, zero. Right, we all know that, that's pretty straightforward. But, however, if you're gonna hit a fade, we know that you want to be swinging slightly left of target, but the club face needs to be a little bit less left. So therefore you get a slight imbalance on the swing axis tilt, and there's your little fade swing. Equally, you want to hit the draw, swing into the right, face slightly open, and there's your little draw swing. Now, what's clever about this is, is that you can work with a wedge, or you can work with a driver. The loft, and this gap here is that spin loft we talk about a lot. So this is why it's really important to marry up your direction of the club and the spin loft and the face angle in that 3D profile. So this is a great tool to show you, but this is, a, this is a, an information, if you like, video to get you to understand how the thing works and why it's harder to shape wedges. Why Bubba's wedge was unbelievable at the Masters two years ago because that wedge moved 50, 60 yards. That's such a hard thing to do. So as ever, any questions, give me a shout through YouTube or through the website, and we're happy to help your questions.